twocker comes from a broken home, eh? You're a divorcee, aren't you, Inspector Fowler? Left your wife alone with a kid? Did you not? I'm sorry for you, of course. As a dedicated family man, I know what you've missed. Right then, let's have a look at this car thief. More a delinquent than a thief, I think. I doubt this lad has the brains to fence a stolen car. Allow me to be the judge of that fella. As a highly trained detective and confidant of Scotland Yard, I shall know instantly whether this lad is a malevolent criminal genius or the cretinous child of a brainless swine. <laughs> Darren! Hello, Dad. <laughs> I'm not a vindictive man, Patricia, which is probably why I've remained in uniform. <laughs> we charge the lad with taking without consent, of course, but I've agreed to keep the matter as quiet as possible. I don't know why. Inspector Grimm's such a pig. Why should you do him any favours? Well, virtue is its own reward. In this case, Grimm gave me two tickets to tonight's all-night rave, which his son will not now be attending. I thought perhaps you and Rona might like them, Bill. No, thanks, Dad. Oh. So you're staying in tonight, then? Are you sure you can't be persuaded to wildly prance off with your pal? No, we're going down to the library. You don't get to university going to raves, do you? And it's to prance wildly, Dad. Don't split your infinitives. <laughs> Perhaps I misjudged the boy. However, the point is that we are alone. Yes, Raymond. And what I should like to propose is that we clear away the things, do the washing up, and then perhaps a bit of rumpy. <laughs> I'll just have another cup of... I beg your pardon? I should like to make love tonight, Patricia. Perhaps <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> I might even be persuaded to have a bash in a different position. <laughs> this is so sudden. So... so the sex therapist worked? What? She's a genius, because I will do anything, absolutely anything, as long as I don't have to visit that foul woman ever again. 